Hi, Rachel here from Audison Middle School for today's Tech Talk. This Tech Talk will go into more depth about the sketchnoting format. Check out the other video I made introducing sketchnoting by clicking the link in the description. Sketchnoting has many different formats that you can use, so in this video I'm going to show you a few of my favorites and when you can use them. Let's start with lists. So lists are very good for um, noting different types of something because then you can have the different titles and then the text with bullet points underneath. It's not very good with something where you have a ton of info. It's uh, very good combined with different other formats to go more into depth about something. Um, pictures are definitely good for lists. You can draw them or get simple ones off the internet. And also, um, it's very good with audio because then it's easier to explain everything without the listener being too distracted by a ton of action on the screen. Next, we have the sequence. So this is my favorite type of sketch noting because it's a very good go-to strategy. It's very simple. Um, when you're using the sequence, arrows work very well to separate the sequences. This type of sketch noting is very good for timelines or order of events. And it also works great with titles and text. And you can also use fonts to differentiate the title and the text. I also like to use shapes around the different parts to group them better, and colors also. I like to use clouds specifically. Um, but the one thing that this type is not good for is it's not very good if you have a ton of different sections because then it gets crowded on the page because you have all these different sequences with all the ar arrows and the information. So I think it's better if you just have one main topic and then not a ton of different sections. Next there are the steps, which is a little bit like the list and the sequence, um, but it's a bit better for audio. So it's good for order event events and timelines, and it's very good for a to-do list, and it's really it um, makes it better and more sketch noting if you have pictures and color. And it's not very good if you have a lot of sections and or a ton of information, sort of like the last one, but it is very good with audio, just like the list, because then there's not too much going on on the screen, so the listener can really focus on what you're saying. So now we have the groups. So it's good for a classifying thing, but it's not very good if you have a ton of info or titles and then subsections. It's very easy to do, and it's good for younger kids because it's a lot simpler. It's easy to understand as well. And color makes it look a lot better. Um, and also, as I always say, you should definitely try to use fonts is that makes it more sketch noty, and you could add a lot of um, pictures. Okay, and then our last format is the web. So this very this helps if you have a lot of subtopics because then you can do different branches off, and the web can get really big and actually looks really cool. Um, color works well. Um, audio actually does work pretty well because again there's not too much on the screen and you can really follow along easily. Um, it's good for if you're describing something because then you have the different branches coming off. And also an app that I use a lot for this kind of thing, although it's not quite sketchnoting, I use Poplet which is a free app that you could get on an iPad or an iPhone. And I think it's really cool because it pretty much makes a web for you and then you just fill it out. Though if you're learning, if you're leaning more towards the sketch noting kind of thing, you can add in color and pictures and that will really help. But I want you to remember when you're sketch noting, sketch noting is about ideas, it's not about art. So you, when you're sketch noting, you shouldn't try to make everything perfect and make it look like an artistic masterpiece. What you're doing is you're just putting down ideas when you have them in a creative format that will help you remember things. Well, that's it. So I hope you enjoy learning about the sketch noting formats. Please check out my last sketch noting video. This is Rachel signing off for OMS Tech Talk.